Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Continuing on, the Plasma Rifle is going to be done, or sorry, Plasma Sniper is going to be done in two days. Shaped Armor will be done in three. Improved Medkit, um, apparently it's a Medikit, but I'm going to call it a Medkit. It's going to be done in 14 days. No facilities are being built. Nobody's injured. So basically there's nothing to do but wait. Plasma Sniper in 2, Shaped Armor in 3, Bunch of Satellites in 4, and in 6 we have the Council Report where I'm going to make a fuck ton of space bucks. Look at all of those monies. That is so many monies. That is all of the monies. All of them. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the Hologlobe. Well... This is a pretty easy decision, isn't it? They're all moderate, they all have low panic. So in other words, in terms of difficulty and panic, there's no reason to choose one over the other, so the only reason to pick one over another is the reward. Don't particularly need engineers. Don't really need more people. So I'm gonna take the money. To Australia we go. Alright, it's a moderate difficulty, so there's no need to take the best of the best. Maybe I should stick with what I have. No, I definitely want my other mech. Who's my extra? Oh, I have two heavies. Okay, sorry, Akron, but you have to go, and your place is going to be M. Hello, my friend. Blunda, I will continue to take you along. You... Yeah, you haven't quite reached Colonel. Not quite yet. And I want you to. I'll take Arrow. I'll take Finn. Yep. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, Soul, but Finn has taken over your place because with Finn, I actually chose the better option, which was the Shredder Rocket compared to the Suppression. It's just better. I haven't gotten a chance to really use it yet, but it's really, it's definitely going to come in handy with big units. No doubt. And I believe you're, you're maxed, aren't you? No, you're almost maxed. Yeah, none of my snipers are maxed level yet. But they're going to be, oh yes, very soon. Okay, I yeah, I like this loadout. I mean, it's not low, low level. Like, I could take some total, almost total newbies like Acheron and... Who's the other one? It was Acheron and... and what? Oh god, there's so many. Ereshkigal? I think it was Ereshkigal, wasn't it? Was the other one like I, that I just took on the last mission? I think so. Yeah, but I don't really need more people, so... Or should I? Nah, I don't. I don't need more. I really don't. Are you know what the hell? I'm gonna take another... I'll, I'll take another heavy. I definitely don't need more salts. But I will take Acheron, so I can have another heavy. I have so many assaults. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy. Alright, well this is the loadout I had before, right? Or did I replace one? I don't remember, but anyway. Alright, you're kitted out. You're good, you're good. Definitely going to capture some aliens this time. Definitely. Now's the time to do it on a medium difficulty mission. You're good, you're good, you're good. I think everyone's good. You do have the laser sniper rifle, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Go for this mission, capture some aliens. And don't die. But of course, that's always a goal. Operation Shattered Australia Rain. Has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. 
All right, so we have a very narrow map that just goes this direction. Northwest. I like that. Makes it easy to see where to go. That means you're pretty much guaranteed to find the meld if you just head in this direction. All right, step number one, scout. It seems to think this isn't cover. It's gotta be, though. That has to be full cover. I guess it's because you can't actually see it, so it doesn't know. Alright, well, I'm not gonna be capturing any of them. I don't need to, anyway. I can't capture the mectoid, of course, because it's a robot, and I could capture the sectoid, but I've already... Wait, I, I did already capture a sectoid, right? I think I did. I'm not even sure. Not that it would hurt to capture another one, of course, but... Eh. I don't really care. This Electropulse would be very nice, but I'd have to get awfully close to it. I think we should just move up. Let's just move up and say hello. He just said, it just got hot in here. I love you, John Cotton Candy Smith. Your voice is amazing. He's got such a dry sense of humor. I'm pretty sure that was a joke, but he didn't say it like a joke. Alright, Acheron. Ooh, ooh. Can I get both? Ooh, I saw... Oh. Let's do that. Yeah. Bring Gonna get you some experience here. Good job. I'm proud of you. You're gonna earn yourself a promotion. Of course you're standing out in the open, but it doesn't matter. We can kill- Oh, shit. Hmm. Okay, that complicates things. Um, thankfully it can't see you from there. See what you can do. Pulse won't reach, right? No. Of course not. Maybe I should do that. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure why they haven't found us yet. Why haven't they activated? Because we can see them. They should have been able to see us. But they haven't run to cover yet. For some reason. I kind of want to launch a grenade because that will kill the sectoid, which means... There's no chance of getting that stupid force field thing, which would protect the hell out of them. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's deal with the problem before it becomes a problem. Yeah, we, we hadn't discovered it before, but... Aw, how cute. It's going into Overwatch. Adorable. Wait, you went? Wait, you're on Overwatch? I didn't know you were in Overwatch. Did you just blow up his cover? Did you just blow up Blunda's cover? No, you didn't. Okay. We're good. You are so dead this turn, maybe? Actually, it's quite possible it's not dead. It's actually very possible it's not dead this turn. If this doesn't kill it, it's not gonna die. Shit. Unless I can kill it with a pistol? With Spectre? Um, no. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Where do I put you? She needs a view inside. Put you here. I mean, I could switch to her pistol and see how much damage it could do. No, that's stupid. Let's just throw a battle scanner. That's actually useful. Where should I toss it, though? Eh, it's not really going to show very much. Yeah, let's see what's going on back here. Hmm. 
Not much other than the other mechtoid. Alright, your turn. It's probably gonna get two shots here, which is nasty. Okay, it missed. Good. Yep, you got another one. Yep. I thought so. Ouch. What are you gonna do? You gonna move? Oh, oh, you're retreating? I'm really surprised mechtoids retreat. I mean, they're big, stompy enemies. It seems like, if anything, they want to run into the fray, but... Works for me. Oh, there's a metal canister. Right, once again, let's give Acheron some experience here. First to dibs. Aye, aye, Commander. Nope. Oh, damn it. Blunder. Let's give you some experience. Nice. And let's go ahead and... Ooh, look, it's a little arrow. Aw, it's an arrow formed out of the dash... grid thing. Let's go get some eyes on this alleyway and grab this next turn. And in the meantime, let's move up and do a bit of overwatch. Just in case that mech decides to pay us a visit. For this alley. Spectre. I want to put you up here. And I'm going to. Let's cover this alleyway. Why did that blow up? Must have been from the RPG that I shot. Oh, there's another one here. Ah, there it is. All right, before I move everyone, let's get some eyes up here. Move you in a full cover and throw a battle scanner. Huh. Oh, there's an enemy in there. That's gotta be the mechtoid. Ooh, could move up here. Might be too far. No, that's too far away from the group. Yeah, let's move up here. We got six turns to get it. Don't even need to rush at all. Moving to target location. Yeah, I mean, it's just a medium difficulty mission. We really don't have to worry too much. Mechtoid, you gonna pay us a visit? Mm-hmm. So if it doesn't have a shot, does it have a shot? No, it doesn't. In that case, it's dead. Acheron, you do have a shot. Once again, I'm gonna give you first dibs. Actually, let's soften it up first, shall we? Where's Spectre? Damn, she doesn't have a shot. Well, that blows. There's actually quite a bit more to the map here. I could even move her here. Ooh. No. Let's move her here. Alright. You are first... Take the shot. 
You are literally shooting through your teammate. I probably should have softened it up first, but I forgot. Oh well. Seventy-two. I'll take it. Because I get two shots. Oh. Vehicle fire detected. Yep, that thing's going to blow up next turn. There we go. Alright, let's not move up to the truck. Because it's going to explode. I will move up here, though. Um. Nah, I'm just gonna hang back. Just reload. Arrow. Full cover. There we go. Another one. This map has literally been nothing but mectoids. Right. Well, I could do a shit ton of damage to it. But can anyone else get in there with her? Oh, if I I could do the shredder rocket and then use her shotgun. Oh, I've got to do this. This is the perfect combo. It's going to kill the sectoid. It's going to hurt it four damage, four hit points, and it's going to make it more vulnerable. Shredded. You got shredded. Then... Unfortunately, that cover is blown up. I want to move you a bit closer. Actually, is that going to change anything moving closer? 92% chance to hit. Um, it might. I mean, there's no harm in getting a little bit closer. Oh, never mind it. Oh, there's lightning reflexes. It doesn't matter. I didn't know that thing was on Overwatch. But it's fine. Because she can run like a boss. <laughs> You're dead. Two crits. Uh, is that all there was to the mission? Another day. Man. Another successful operation. That was really easy. Man, I haven't even recorded for 20 minutes. I already finished a mission. That was so quick. I can't say I've ever seen an operation go that smoothly. Excellent work. Aha, Colonel. Allows one additional standard rocket to be fired per battle. You know, I'm pretty sure this is just way better. I think I took Mayhem with Soul. Well, no. That's right, it also increases the damage of the rockets. Hmm. What did it increase it from? I think it went from 6 to 8 for the standard rocket, which... I think having two rockets would actually be more utility. Yeah, I'm going to go with two rockets. Rocketeer. Wait a minute. I... I recovered six sectoid corpses. But I only killed like three or four. How can you recover more corpses than you... Were, were there dead sectoids just like on the ground before I even came? And we just cleaned them up? I, I mean, yeah, look, three mectoid cores, so I only killed three mectoids, which means there's only three sectoids that I killed. I, okay. Panic has increased across South America. Whatever. We I've got 200 bucks. I'm good. Commander. Right. 
And what I was going to do with that money was, of course, spend it on plasma weapons. For they are very expensive. So, what do I have? I have two plasma... Wait, since when did I have two? I guess I just recovered one. And I have one heavy plasma, which is all I need, but I do need particle... Oh my god, I can't even, I can't even afford one particle cannon. 9 to 11. Oh man. That thing does so much damage. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to keep saving for that. Or maybe I'll buy a Plasma Sniper. In fact, I think I'm going to buy a Plasma Sniper. Assuming I can afford it. Okay, what next? Oh man, I'm running out of weapon fragments. Alright, let's, let's just do this Outsider Shard. It's only going to take two days. It's fine. Maybe the game will finally stop bugging me. Priority, priority. Do this to complete the main mission. Yes, I know. I know. Oh yeah, I'm totally buying a, buying a Plasma Sniper Rifle. 8 to 10, and it crits for 14 to 16. And the base critical chance is 35. Mm-hmm. Shaped armor is done. I wonder how much that increases my max hit points. Outsider Shard is done. these coordinates. Recon satellite Delta 2 is just coming into line of sight now, sir. Coming on screen. Nothing. No. That's impossible. I know it's there. Switch to thermal. Hello. Give me subsurface. Gotcha. Re-establish comms with all the Think of what we might find once we get inside that facility. Imagine what they might be doing down there. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, we found it. Now how do we get inside? I thought you'd never ask. Is it time for the big mission? Oh, not quite yet. New objective, assault the alien base. Build a skeleton key, and then assault the alien base. Oh wait, do I just need to build it? Like, I don't need to research it? Maybe I can do it. This device is the culmination of our research into the shard recovered from the alien outsider. It should allow our troops to infiltrate the alien base and find out what's inside. Alright, what do I do next? Well, it's either the EMP cannon or the Arc, um, Archangel armor. As much as I've learned that there could be an interesting, some interesting combinations with the Archangel armor and snipers, namely that you could equip them and get a height advantage anywhere. Like, you'd have your sniper just go up into the air, and if it's a wide open map where the enemies aren't inside of buildings, your sniper basically has a height advantage and could shoot anything over the entire map because they have squat sight. As interesting as that is, I don't know if I want to try it. I think I'm going to go for the EMP cannon. I've got a hunch as to how we might get into that facility. Just give the word, and I'll begin manufacturing the key immediately. That's all, that's all it costs? It's just 16 space bucks? I'll take it. Okay, so is that is that it? Can we go in? Or is it a timed thing? No, I think we can go in. 
Okay, but let's not do it yet. Um, let's wait three days for the council report so we can get a ton of money and do a ton of a ton of upgrades and then go in. Let me just check and make sure that is what I need to do. Um, yeah, just assault the alien base. Yep, alien base assault is a special mission, but let's wait for a little bit. Here we go. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Why, thank you, shadowy figure. We will be watching. Okay, I am now officially fucking rich and rolling in money. Engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. It's time to build some stuff, but what? Okay, first thing is first, I need to buy the plasma cannons, or whatever they're called, what are they called? Particle cannons. Oh my god, that is expensive. That is so expensive. But I'm gonna do it. There's half my money. Now, what else could I use? Well, I don't need any more weapons. Right? Did I did I finish researching the... No, I can't do the other weapons research because I don't have the materials. That's right. Can't do more chitin plating because I don't have the chrysalid corpses. Don't need more scopes. Don't need more of that. Don't need more of that. That's all I need for that. That's all I need for that. Some firestorms wouldn't be bad, but I think my money's probably better spent... Uh... I don't know. How does this work? Hold on. Okay, so you don't... You can only order interceptors through this interface. But you can build the, the alien ships through the... Engineering thing. That's kind of weird. I don't know how that works. I don't know if I ever used those in my last playthrough. Maybe I did. It's awfully expensive, though. And I, honestly, I don't think I need it. I really don't. I think I'm okay. I mean, I took down, like, the biggest sh UFO there is. I'm just using one of these aims. I think I'm good. Yeah, let's do some foundry stuff. Yeah, money's not going to be the problem. It's a freaking drone rex. Uh, what about meld? 70. Okay, so I can't upgrade my other mech to a mech 3 suit, unfortunately, because I think I need 100 meld for that. Let me just check that. Yeah, I need 100 meld. So, foundry stuff it is. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Stealth satellites could be nice. Eh, it's cheap. But I don't really care. Advanced servo motors, I definitely want. Jelly geranium. Um, uranium. J jellied uranium. What the hell is that? That sounds amazing, but I don't think it exists. Jellied Illyrium. I haven't found myself using a flamethrower almost ever, so... Nope. Yep, I don't think I need this other stuff. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. I'll let them know you've got another project ready for production. So what do I spend my money on? Maybe I should build firestorms. Maybe I should build some stuff. What should I build? I don't need more satellites, because I literally can't even deploy my last satellite that I have. Yeah, I can't deploy it. So that's not a problem. Another laboratory? Yeah, let's build another lab. And... Build an access lift. Excavate that, just to prep for the future. Cybernetics lab will give me the bonus for the workshop, right? I think it does. So let's build a workshop. Do I really need a workshop? I don't really need a workshop. I don't. Honestly, I really don't. Alright, let's buy a couple firestorms. Oh, never mind. Let's buy one because I can't build two. Alright. Alright. 
That puts us in a damn good position. Now, the question is, do I assault the alien base now, or do I wait for the advanced servo motors to go through? I don't think I need to wait for it. Nah, let's just do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do this assault. If I remember right, when I did this alien base assault before, it took me like two hours, so this could be very, very long. Let's just get to it. Location? Asia. Here we go. Okay, I'm not gonna fuck around here. I'm gonna take the best of the best, so I'm sorry. Akron, you have to go. Tyrone Moose M. Okay, Belinda, I'm sorry, you are not my best. I need... Uh, this Since this is a very long mission, you really need longevity. So you could easily be worn down by taking little bits of damage throughout. So I need my best medic. Because I need to be able to keep my troops refreshed. So, Graves, you are back on the squad. Because you have this. Save your medic has restored four more health for use. Which doubles your healing ability. Incredibly valuable. Arrow, you're my best. Finn? Y yep, you're my best. And Spectre? I think you're pretty much tied for Isley. So, yeah, I'll just... Yeah. This is my best. Now, we gotta give everyone the right stuff. So let's replace this railgun with a particle cannon, so... It's going from... Let's just look at the base damage. 6 to 8. 6 to 8 to 9 to 11. That is a massive upgrade. Titan armor. Plasma rifle. Um, oh, that's right. You don't have the sprint ability, do you? What did you take instead of sprint? Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Um, so, well, someone needs to get the chit and plating. Who should it be? I don't know, I'll figure that out in a second. Let's move on down the line for now. I'm gonna go back and look at something in a minute. I could take the arc thrower, in fact. I think I will take the arc thrower. I do want to capture some aliens. Heavy plasma. Good, good. Plasma sniper rifle. Okay, this is what I wanted to look at. What did I give you instead of sprint? Covering fire. Fuck, I shouldn't have taken that. Sprint is so much better. Damn it. Especially for someone who has an arc thrower. To give someone who has sprint the arc thrower is incredibly good. Okay, so who do I give the arc thrower to, or should I give it to anyone? I really do want to give it to him. Because I think you encounter at least one new enemy type in this mission. The... Whatever the... The sectoid that can mind meld with people, like the sectoid commander or whatever it is. I'd like to capture it. So who should I give it to? I guess Arrow? I mean, she has so many hit points, and she's the one that's gonna be on the front line the most, because my support does not have sprint, so yeah. Let's give it to you. So you're gonna be in more danger, of course, so I'm gonna give you the arc thrower, instead of a scope, since you use a shotgun, you don't really need a scope that much, and I'm going to give you the chitin plating. Right, now let's be very careful, check and make sure everybody's good. Yes, everybody has plasma weapons, or the equivalent, except for Arrow, because I do not have the alloy cannon. That's all equipped. That's all equipped. We're good to go. Heavy sniper assault support to mechs. Yep. Okay, alien base assault. Let's do this. To Asia we go. I remember when I first came to the alien base, 
on my original playthrough of Enemy Unknown, I had a point where I, where I got a recurring crash. Where the game would just keep crashing. And that was in Iron Man mode, so I had no other save games to go back to. But thankfully, I think I did... I just did something different. Like, I didn't repeat the same actions that I did before, and I managed to make it not crash. So let's hope we don't have any crashing issues this time. Thanks to Dr. Volland's research, and some clever developments down in engineering, this skeleton key should allow you to breach the alien compound. We've only got one chance to make this work, though. So let's make sure we do it right. Alright. Penetrate the base's defenses. Neutralize all invader forces. Identify and capture the base commander, if possible. This mission cannot be aborted. Yes, you either live and complete the mission, or all of you die. You can't leave. So, this is scary. This is a scary mission. That's why I brought my my best. Let's do this. So far, we don't have visual confirmation on the hostiles. I wouldn't get too comfortable, though. We're expecting heavy resistance. They're probably moving into position as we speak. Very interesting scenery, as you can see. Very strange base. It's like there's some sort of massive organic system. It's like this place is alive. I'm not sure if this is just, like, dirt, if this is ground, or if this is also part of the living stuff. All this flesh and guts. Whatever it is. Alright, so this is a mission that is going to net you a an amazing amount of stuff, because you are taking a huge base. So I do want to avoid blowing stuff up if possible, because there is so much you will get from completing this mission. So many resources, it's insane. So Arrow, you are as always first, if I can find full cover to put you in. Which I might not be able to, actually. This is all half- this is terrible cover. Yeah, okay, I can't. I can't get her into full cover. Simple as that. Please don't discover aliens. Well, it looks like we found where they've been taking the abductees, but that still doesn't explain what the purpose of all this is. Well, that's not good. It had to happen. You can see this beginning part is basically designed to get you screwed and discovered, because there's almost no way you can discover the enemies before they discover you. And everything is half cover. Thankfully, though, that means everything is half cover for them, too. Let's move you up here. M here can take a punch. And you have more hit points thanks to the shaped armor that I just got. How many hit points do you have? Three, four, you have 20, you have 24 hit points. Damn. Take care of this big guy. Ooh, this might activate close combat specialist. Maybe? Maybe? Ah, not quite close enough. Man, you do not have much mobility. I can't wait until I get those advanced servo motors. This sucks. Heading to that See if I can shoot from here? Nah, I didn't think so. Damn. Really want to kill this berserker. Like, really, really bad. You are the only one that can actually get close enough to take a shot. 
It's probably not even going to kill it either. Fuck, this is terrible. On my way. Nope, you don't even have a shot at him. Okay, never mind. Well, I think you have the thing that reduces damage. Right? Danger zone? Is that it? No, that's not it. I thought there was something that... Oh yeah, will to survive. Reduces all normal damage taken by two if in cover and not flanked. On my way. So, I'll move you here. I'm gonna plop you there. Should be able to shoot the Berserker and the both of them down there. Alright, this might be a painful next turn. This is not a good start. A lot of half cover here. Ah. Pound your chest all you want, it's not going to save you. I'm amazed that didn't hit. I guess she does have a height advantage. Which is nice. Okay. I can kill you with a kinetic strike. Which is probably the best bet. I suppose I could attempt to capture you, but... Do I want to? I kind of want to save it for new enemies. I don't really want to. I don't really care that much. But maybe I should care. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on, do you have a shot on the two down there? Of course you do. Not a very good shot. Unfortunately, I guess you don't have much of a height advantage, or maybe you're too close. Not sure what's up with that. Yeah, they're in really good cover down there. So, I'm just gonna deal with you. <laughs> oh man, that is epic. Right, so I can kill you. The question is, how do I deal with the one that's further away? And the answer is that. And that's how you deal with it. Shoot it with a sniper. I don't even need to run and gun. Can anyone else shoot him? Actually, no. Okay, run and gun time. Alright. Not too bad. Let's go through the right here next turn. Although I suppose I could check over here for enemies. Maybe there's some over here. I don't know. Let's move up. Well, let's take our time. There's no meld. We don't need to rush. Let's just do the nice, nice and easy overwatch. Location confirmed. You're gonna heal too? Yep. Let's take a peek in here. Shavelis! 
Hmm. Why, hello there. Those look like more advanced mutons. They're not berserkers. They just have more hit points. And better armor, it looks like. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of cover down here. I don't really want to smash all of my people into there. What, you? Oh my god. Spectre, you... How the fuck? You can shoot them through the wall. Of course you can. Should I take the shot? Probably not. Eh, I'm gonna take it. It's fun. <laughs> he didn't see that coming, did he? What? What was that? It must have been a rat. That is hilarious. Alright, let's just move you up. Wait a minute, that was only... I thought that was a dash. That wasn't a dash, so you can take a shot. Uh, okay, I'll take it. I could have sworn that was a dash. Like this, for example, is a dash, right? Mm-hmm, that's a dash. What? What? Is something bugging out? That was a dash. It literally said dash, and it was yellow, but it only used one movement point. I don't understand what's happening. But I'll take it. Now oh, shut wide. Bin schon dabei, Commander. I could overwatch. Is it likely to come closer though? It's probably not. I mean, well, it could come up to there. Nah, just reload. Heading there now. Man, if that thing throws a grenade, oh boy. Please don't throw a grenade. Okay, good. Time to move you up. Any full cover? Nope. Ah, the cover on the ship is terrible. It's all half cover. There's literally no full cover here. Yep. No full cover. I don't even understand. I can't take cover from this direction? Only from this direction. It... what? But there's like a counter thing right there. I don't even understand. This is terrible. I can't really move her anywhere. I guess I'll just wait here. Reloaded my weapons. There's, I don't think I'm going to be shooting anything this turn. Ah! Useless cover. Useless. Headed there now. 
Get at least a little bit of Overwatch here, just in case. I'm kind of waiting for Spectre to get back here. I wonder at the doorway. Oh, never mind. I didn't expect that. That's a bad time to come back, my friend. <laughs> that particle cannon sounds amazing. Unfortunately, the aim isn't. Okay, bye again. Hi, bye. Alright, I should probably move my sniper up here. Yeah, in fact, that would be an extremely good place to be. Let's move over here this turn. Wait, what? That was a, a dash. Why is it giving me another movement point? Something's wrong with that. In fact... Let me, nah, let's move over here. Yeah, let's take it. <laughs> uh, Alright, do I even need my sniper to be up there anymore? I don't. Not really. We're gonna have to move through the next door in just a minute. So, don't need to worry about that. Alright, well, let's just shitty cover, but let's just move people up. I mean, there doesn't seem to be any more enemies in here. Hold on just a second, I'll be right back. Alright, what was I doing? I think I was moving my people up. Just... drones. Drones, but no cyber disks? I'm suspicious. Wait a minute. Grenade? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, and I don't see anything that I'm going to be blowing up that would be... Like, that I wouldn't want to blow up? Like, these things, for example? I'm assuming the other one is, like, right over there. Let's do it. Come on, come on. Yep, got them both. Puny little drones. Eh, I'll just move you up here. You're not in cover, but it's fine. I think I just have to accept the fact that we're just not going to be in cover. It's just not going to happen. open this yet. No, not until my people are in position. Who should be up here? My sniper? I feel like my sniper should be there. Yeah, let's have this let's have the sniper at the corner. Just load up on the entrance here. Move my mechs right in front. Hmm, right here? Or here? That's gonna block the entrance. Let's go here. Give me a 
Okay. Get the sniper into position. And let's just reload all of our weapons. Because I want her to be ready to shoot next turn. Reload. Overwatch. Overwatch. Reload. And reload. And overwatch. Yep. They're right in there. Now here's an interesting thing. If I open this door, we're probably going to discover enemies, and Arrow... Um, her memetic skin will not work. Whereas if I move her up right now, it will work. I'm gonna do it. Oh. Okay. Let's move up again. Okay, I guess they're really deep in there. It must be down there. Oh, whoa, look at the crazy screen effects. Alright, let's just move up. Actually, let's move our... Let's move my sniper. Actually, my sniper doesn't need to be... Spectre doesn't need to be in full cover, because anything is full cover. Let's move you there. N no chance of being flanked, and very good eyesight over the whole situation. Very good vision. My troopers have so many hit points, it's insane. When I did this mission on my original playthrough of XCOM Enemy Unknown, I actually did it at a really low level, and it's kind of amazing I managed to complete it. It was... It was a nail-biting mission. It was really difficult. Okay. I know they're down there. There's no doubt there's they're down there. Let's just move yeah, let's just move up. That's your job, Arrow. And you've got plenty of hit points to do it. Okay, hello. Okay. Ooh. Looks like there's a, looks like they're doing some experiments on some humans. Ugh, that does not look that does not look pleasant. Right, I need to get my sniper up here. No doubt about that. She's in a perfect place to open her can of whoop ass next turn. The rest of you Ah, you can't quite go far enough. All right, I'll put you there. On the move. Position bestätigt. They're not going to move. Their mistake. What shall I open with? Not a grenade, because I want to keep this stuff alive. Although it would be nice, but no. No, no, no. Let's not do it. Hmm. 
the best way to approach this? I'm, yeah, I can guarantee a kill on one of them. Let's just do that and see what happens. All right, it's in full cover. You can shoot him from there. That is, yeah, wow, you seventy nine percent chance to hit him in full cover. It must be the hide advantage. Plus the scope, I guess. Hmm. All right, I can move up and take a shot. I could just blow up his cover, but I don't want to blow this stuff up. I could just run and gun. But... That will reveal the back of this place a little bit too much for comfort. I really don't want to move up that much. I'm not comfortable with that. Nope. So let's not do that. That is a horrible chance to hit. Shit, maybe I should do it. Okay. That is also horrible. Not bad. I'll take it. Oh, whoa. Is it, is it a crit? It is a crit. And it blew up the thing it was behind anyway. But, actually, I think you I think you blew up two of the things. Good job there. Let's get some overwatch. Actually, now that you can't be seen, let's just move you up. Let's get some intel for next turn. Oh, oh, what do you see? Whoa, oh, God. What could they what? possibly be storing in those tanks? <gasps> it's a sectopod. It's a motherfucking sectopod. It's my first sectopod. Okay. 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 And it's in a very inconvenient location. That practically guarantees that we will get uh, a height disadvantage. Because we're probably going to be down here and it's going to be up there. Fuck. Going up here would be terrible because you got a bunch of half cover. And it's very narrow. That I don't remember exactly what attacks the Sectopod has, but I know it's fucking nasty. Like, it's got grenades and nasty rockets and shit, I think. It has explosives. So I kind of need to spread my people out. Oh. I didn't even see those. Let's just deal with those shits. See if I can get them without blowing up too much. I've got to blow up something. Alright, let's do that. We need to focus our efforts on the sectopod, not be dealing with all these little stupid drones. Let's move you up a bit. Not too much. Not too much. I hope it doesn't react next turn. I want the element of surprise, please. Please? Okay, good. Excellent. I could snipe it. But that would be poking the hornet's nest if ever there was anything that could be called poking the hornet's nest. My headshot isn't even back yet. I want to wait for my headshot. Okay. What do I do? I want, I want to be in range. 
to like launch many AoEs to just blow the shit out of it. Is this too close? That might be too close. Let's move up here though. Please don't discover it. Please don't discover. Okay, good. Ooh. Keep spinning around there, Tyrone Moose M. Right. They should be close enough to... Yeah, okay, so they're, they're close enough to launch a grenade. Yeah, they're good. You are in a perfect position. I'm not going to move you. Yeah, just go ahead and overwatch. What about you? You're way too far away to do anything. Um, you might need to pop a smoke, though. Ugh, you're too far away to even do that. I need to move you up. Yeah, I want him in position to pop a smoke. He's not in cover, but it's fine. I'm gonna move him up here next turn. Um, over, yeah, hunker down, don't overwatch. You too, I want you, I really, really want your shredder rocket in range. Can you move? Can you, yes, there you go. So I gotta wait like one more turn for the headshot to come back up for the sniper and everybody to get in place to shoot some rockets. See, this is why getting intel is so important, because if I didn't if I didn't gather intel and gain the advantage, I mean, knowledge is power. If I didn't have this knowledge, I would have run right into that, and my headshot wouldn't have been up, and my rocketeer wouldn't have been in place to shoot a rocket. Right, so shredder rocket is the one I want to do before I do anything else. Not quite close enough. Which is okay, is it okay because I think I need to wait one more turn for the headshot. Yeah. So where do I move you? That's good. Yeah, that'll be close enough. Right? Shredder rocket. Actually, no. That's really not close enough. Oh, could she be discovered from there? Uh, no. No, she won't. She won't. She won't. She won't. She won't. Don't be discovered. Don't be fucking discovered. Okay. Oh. Oh. Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah, let's move you here. Alright, next turn, we are going to open our can of whoop-ass on that thing. Okay, here we go. Shredder Rocket is going to kill the drone and is going to make it much more susceptible, susceptible to damage. So then, when she brings out her ass-kicking... Sniper shot, it's going to do a ton of damage, and I have a bunch of AoEs, and I have a bunch of things to do. I'm going to kill it in one turn, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I'm going to blow up some stuff, but... Fuck it. Boom. Fuck you, Sectobot, I hate you! Shredded. Now, where are you going to move? What are you going to do? Of course. What you, what's, what's this view? What is... Oh. Because an animation was playing. All right. Spectre. S spec. Okay, I guess I'll use tab to select her. Please don't miss. Only ten. Even with the shredded effect, it only did ten. It's kind of disappointing. Alright, what would do more damage? The grenade or just shooting it? Just shooting it would do more damage if it hit. Um, you know what? YOLO. Freaking YOLO. It's gonna overwatch, of course, but she has lightning reflexes. So it isn't gonna hit a damn thing. Arrow, you are about to pull some crazy shit. Yeah, try it. 
you're blowing up my future hall. I was gonna... That, that was my... Oh, fuck. It's okay. It's okay. She's only in a position where she's totally flanked. She's fine. Right. Well, let's just deal with the sectopod first. Did I... No! Did I not run and gun? <gasps> what have I done? I didn't run and gun. I didn't fucking run and gun. What the hell have I done? No. 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 Oh. What have I done? It's a good thing I gave her the chitin plating. She's gonna need it. She's got 27 hit points. Fuck. Who can you shoot? The Berserker. Honestly, I think the Sectoid is much more important to kill than the Berserker. <sighs> right. Actually, I could grenade both. Actually, that would be a good play. And here's why. It's going to, um... It's going to piss off the Berserker and cause it to come closer, which is going to put it in range of my other troops. Right? It's going to, it's going to come closer. Please. Please come closer. There you go. At least it might put it in range, is it? Yeah, okay. I really need to kill the Sectopod, though. That's the thing. Like, really, 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 really fucking need to kill the Sectopod. Who can do a thing? Who can do anything? Arrow is the one in the most danger, without a doubt. But I can't even, I can't even get near enough to smoke her. I don't even think I could smoke her from here. But let's try. Let's, let's move up. No. I could smoke my own troops, but are my own troops really going to get shot at? I don't think so. I think, it's, I think Arrow is going to be the one that's going to take everything next turn. So what can I do? Fuck. That sectopod would be dead if I fucking runned and gunned. But I didn't. I could launch a grenade. That's not even going to get near to killing it. I could run over here and take one shot at it. The chance of that killing it is extremely low. Can't get near to Electropulse. I think, see the thing is, I'm almost guaranteed to not be able to kill the Sectopod. However, next turn I'm almost guaranteed to be able to kill it. So what that means is that I think the best thing is to just take as much damage off of the enemy's board as possible, basically. Which would mean killing the Berserker. Let's do it. Okay, maybe someone else can now shoot the Berserker. Yes. Okay. Can't believe I didn't run and gun. Why did I not run and gun? God damn. Well, I could do a little bit of damage with a grenade. It's not worth it. What the hell's the point? It's just a waste. Just... I'm going to move into position for next turn so I can do more next turn. You have so many hit points that... Worst case scenario... I mean, let's just do this. Maybe he'll take some shots, which is good. I want him to take some shots because Arrow shouldn't take it all. And if it doesn't, well, he's closer to do stuff next turn anyway. So, Sectopod, what are you going to do? Please don't. 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 What is that? What is that? Uh, what the fuck? Can it shoot twice? I think it can shoot twice. It can shoot twice, can't it? But it's choosing to shoot something else? Yes, yes, please, please shoot him. I'm so glad I put him there. I'm so glad I put him there. Oh, thank God. And that... That Muton just said, fuck this, I'm out of here. And I don't blame it. 
Okay. This isn't too bad. This is fine. That was a major misplay, but it's okay. Because I'm pretty sure you can just straight up kill it. Man, you only have a 20% chance to crit. I don't understand how the crit works. Like, I must have some bonuses that do stuff in certain times, because I remember sometimes she's had like a 100% chance to crit, but now it's only 20. I know I have something that gives a um, plus 10 crit chance for every enemy in sight, but that's only up to a max of 30. So that wouldn't account for 100. Is it just how close she is? Alright, well I might as well move you out of danger from getting flanked. Maybe it's because she's flanked. Why would that matter though? I don't see why that would affect the crit chance. I don't know, let's just move you here. You don't have Overwatch, right? Wait, you do? I don't remember using Overwatch. I mean, it doesn't matter because she has lightning reflexes, but... I guess they... I guess Sectopaws automatically get Overwatch? I don't know. Alright. That's it. Five and four? Jesus. Alright, it's fine though. Can I Electro Pulse you? That's not close enough. No, it's not close enough. Get the fuck out of your Sectopod. I see you. In fact, the fact that I can see you means that Spectre, of course. Of course, 99% chance. I've got 99 problems, but a miss ain't one. Alright, that wasn't too bad, but I do need to heal her. I think we can comfortably call this room cleared at this point. Back in. At least it better be. Already there. You can see why this mission takes a while. We're already about an hour and 20 minutes in. I don't even know if I'm half done with the mission yet. Graves? Graves, did I did I not give you a med kit? Graves, did I not give you a, Graves Graves Graves, what do you have? Did I I like double checked everybody's stuff, but did I not give you a fucking med I oh god, what what have I done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, soldiers. You're all going to die. Already there. I didn't give him a medkit, did I? I didn't I didn't give my medic a med kit. Why didn't I give my medic a med kit? I have no med kits. Welp, we're not capturing any aliens, that's for sure. I didn't run and gun. I didn't give my med my medic a med kit, and I didn't run and gun. Advancing.
There's aliens further on in the ship full of aliens. No. I didn't give him a med kit. How do I check what I gave? Did I just give him the nanofiber vest and the scope? I gave him the fucking scope. Well, you still have 13 hit points left. She's not going to be tanking any sectobods anymore, but she still has a decent amount of health. Okay, It's okay. My mechs can be the tanks. They're good. Let's do this. Spectre, you need to catch up. I didn't give my medic a med kit. I didn't give my medic a med kit. I didn't give my medic a med kit. Why didn't yeah, I give my medic a med kit? That's what medics are for. They're for the healing. The fucking med kit. You heal it. You, you bring your soldiers back to life. If any of my soldiers die, they're just dead because I don't have any med kits. Why? Why? That's affirmative. Load you. Overwatch. 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 Move you into place. Now I do want to reload you. Time to go in. I need full cover. I don't think I can see any though. Oh look, it's another huge creepy chamber. <sighs> no, I can't see any full cover. Nope, just gotta pop it open. Okay, we got a little thing in here. Whatever you call this. A uh, hallway, I guess. An alien ship hallway. Oh, man, that is really freaking narrow. Yeah, that is bad to be that narrow. That's really bad. Yeah, we're being funneled in here. It's very dangerous. Not a lot of places to take cover. Not a lot of places to get shots off. Not good. Who do I want at the front of the place? That's the question. Do I want my sniper or do I want my rocketeer? I think I want my rocketeer.
Yeah, I want my Rocketeer up there. To blow up whatever the hell demon spawn is inside. Now, is there anywhere I can move in that I... No! Fuck! Oh, good. God damn the XCOM controls. You click anywhere and it opens the door, even if you don't click on the fucking door. You gotta use tab to switch over to another person. For fuck's sake. God, give me a goddamn heart attack. Alright. Ooh, I think, I think this is where you encounter the commander. If I remember right, this looks familiar. Alright, well, there's no full cover to get into to send Arrow in to scout anyway. So, because of that... Hold on, can I throw a battle scanner in? Let's do that. Okay. Safe for now. Let's just overwatch. Full cover now, half cover, half cover, half cover. It's all freaking half cover. Oh, actually, no, I can go to the wall. Let's do that. Nothing? Damn, oh man, this is a huge arena. This really is like a boss arena. Let's move up. Let's get our people in here. Hopefully I can get them into full cover, or cover rather, not necessarily full, before they spot me. Just move them up kind of straight, don't go too far to one side, and just get some overwatch here. Okay, that went pretty well. Maybe I should throw a battle scanner. Not yet. Let's scout with arrow. Question is, where do I scout? Up? To the right? Well, okay, I heard enemies from over here. So, let's go over here. Yep, two? Two. What are they? Uh, Thin Men. I could just plop a grenade on their heads and they're dead. But can I reach? You don't have any grenades left. You have two. Nope. What if I moved you here? Still, nope. Alright, we'll deal with them next turn. Right, I really want to get up here. Because then we can get a major height advantage on anyone who we would attack. 
Yeah, that'd be a very good place to get to. Wait, the thing's so colorful. Pretty. So let's start moving up there. In fact, I could even... Uh, could you see them? I don't think you could, which is good, because I don't want you to discover them, because I want to blow them up with a grenade. Never mind. Well, shit. I guess I'll just move you up there. Did you get flanked? If they shot you from here, this line, you get flanked. So, in other words, no. Right, well, there goes my plan. Oh, lovely. One hit point left. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. They think they can hurt M. Okay, that's not so cute. Actually, they might be close enough together to blow up. In fact, they are. You might say, oh my god, the flight computers, but I don't give a shit. Goodbye. Pains in the ass gone. Could actually get a nice running gun here. Get a good flanking shot. How are they in half cover? They're not even in cover. They're floating. Anyway, um, AOE would be perfect. Unfortunately, you don't have any grenades. So, so much for that. However, this might be able to actually hurt them all. Actually, it could. It only does up to three damage, but... Hmm. No, you can shoot twice. Yeah, shooting twice is way better than doing that. In fact, I could even rocket them. Six damage. That would kill one and hurt the others. Down to... Uh, four, five, six hit points. I don't want to blow up stuff if I don't need to. Well. Let's see if we need to. Yeah, I think we're going to need to. Right, so my rocket can now kill two. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Blow up all the things. Leaving one left, achievement unlocked, bada boom. And then use her oh, run and gun, use her run and gun, use her run and gun to do this. Please don't discover new aliens. Good. That, what the, f why is that such a terrible chance to hit? Oh boy. This might not work. Alright, well, 234% chances is better than 149, so I'm gonna do the rapid fire. Please, one of these hit. Please, both of them hit? Fuck. Okay. Yeah, 
You have a pistol. I g no, let's try this. You're not going to be in cover, but... It's fine, hopefully. Yeah, okay. You have a nice height advantage. Yeah, let's get a pile of bodies going on. Yeah. It looks like the core. All right, let's take this opportunity to figure out what the hell is going on over here. <sighs> Nothing. Okay, we need to reload and regroup. Because we are spread out like crazy. Ah, so many places to go. So many places enemies could be. Let's, let's scout up here. Oh, see something. What do you see? That alien is mm -hmm. clearly different from the others. It's wielding a power unlike anything we've previously encountered. Alright, so that's the thing I want to capture if I can. It's gonna be tricky though. That thing can actually control your units. Which could end very, very poorly. Uh, would I spot it from here? Because I don't want to spot it. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna move up just yet. I'll move a bit closer and reload. Honestly, I don't think this electro pulse is pretty much ever going to come into handy. Come in handy. I d maybe with the advanced servo motors, depending on how much that increases their mobility. Maybe. Out. But as it is, I just never get close enough. All right. Does anyone need to reload? No. You're making footstep sounds. The thing's making footstep sounds, but for some reason it's like dirt footstep sounds or something, rather than... Yeah, what? Well, it's not stepping on dirt. It's playing the wrong footstep sounds. It's bizarre. That's not even in cover? That, that's not cover? Oh, I guess it's not. Hmm. Shit. I want to capture this dude. It's going to be tricky. Let's move up here. Yeah, if I run out there, I'm probably going to get spotted. But maybe, maybe, she's maybe just close enough next turn to be able to move up here and maybe stun it. Assuming it takes cover maybe like right here. Then it's possible. On my way. Eh, just reload. Alright, next turn, we do some moves. I just hope it doesn't move. Is it gonna move? It 
did move, didn't Okay, move to the right. Well, shit. Oh, whoa. It got discovered. <sighs> Alright, you're gonna play hard to get. Fine. And none of that's full cover, god damn it. I need to give you muscle fiber density, don't I? I do, then you can just jump up here. Yeah, you need the mobility. Oh, look at these pretty lens flares. Beautiful. Alright, gotta get closer. I don't want to move up there just yet. I hope no enemies surprise us. See if we can see this thing from here. No, not quite. So let's get into place. Oh, this thing breaks up when you run through it. It just goes poof, into a cloud of... like a, a cloud of light. It's beautiful. You know what? If I could leave everything... if I had to leave everything on this ship, except one thing, I would just take this because it's beautiful. Forget the flight computers, forget all the incredibly important information that will tell you what, they, what the aliens' future plans are to take over Earth. I just want this pretty colorful thing. Oh god, please don't kill it. Oh fuck, it's dead. It's dead. It's really dead. It's so dead. It feels like we're finally turning the tide. <sighs> now that we've captured their device, the aliens are running out of secrets. It's imperative that we begin the research as soon as possible. Now that we've captured this device, we should probably be expecting the aliens to pursue us more aggressively. I doubt losing it was part of their plan. Yeah, and they're not gonna be happy. Alright, well that mission went... it actually ended up not being very hard. It really was not very hard at all. But I made it harder by being incompetent and not using run and gun when I sh when I should have and by not giving my medic a fucking med kit. That made it a bit harder. But still, it went fine. Everybody is perfectly fine, no one's going to be injured. I don't think Arrow is going to be injured. I don't think I don't think they got their way through her her armor. Good job, generic people I don't know. Are they a bunch of clones? I swear they're all a bunch of clones, these people clapping. Creepy. Something wrong, Doctor? Don't you think a victory celebration is a bit premature at this juncture? We just neutralized their central command. We've got no other alerts on the entire system, and we took out their leader. In my book, that's a win, Doctor. understands this war isn't over yet. The existence of this artifact, which we believe to be a communication device of some kind, begs the question. If the sectoid commander was the alien leader, then who or what was it communicating with? I believe this is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind as a weapon. If we were to study this specimen's brain tissue, 
Perhaps we might be able to adapt this ability for our own purposes. I guess this is where we start getting the Psi facilities. Research the Hyperwave Beacon. No promotions. That sucks, but no injuries as well, so that's good. Okay, we should get a ton of stuff for this. Commander Autopsy, Hyperwave Communication, Muton Elite Autopsy, Sectobot Autopsy. Alright, corpses, 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 corpses. Ton of alien alloys, a bunch of weapon fragments, which I desperately need, a ton of meld, alien entertainment. I'm gonna keep that thing and cherish it forever. Alien food, stasis tank, surgery, blah blah blah. Um, and not too much of it's damaged, actually. I feel like we blew up a lot more than this is telling us, but I'm not going to complain. Panic has decreased worldwide by two. Oh. Be in touch, Commander. Excellent. Alright. Let's sell the stuff that is damaged. A little bit of money. What about the entertainment? Alien entertainment. This item has no research benefit and can be sold freely. Hell no, I am not selling that. However, whoa, this whoa, this stuff is unneeded? The alien stasis tanks? They appear to hold the aliens captives in a comatose state until they are ready for further experimentation. Okay, maybe there's a lot more here I can sell. Okay, let's find out. All right, the damage stuff, of course. Alien surgery. Stasis tank? I'm gonna be rolling in money from this, holy crap. Alien food? Okay, somebody tell me, who wants to buy alien food? Who's buying this stuff? The latest the... contact turned out to be a dud. Probably just another drunk pilot who fell asleep on a long haul. <laughs> this slurry of varying genetic material has a considerable nutrient content and could be used to provide sustenance to the aliens. Unfortunately, this mixture also contains several key markers indicating the presence of human DNA. Remind me again who's buying this? So it's a human slurry. Ew. Well, have fun with that. Maybe it's going to be the newest delicacy. Right. I'm rolling in money. Now I can do a bunch of stuff I couldn't before. What am I researching? I, I know I was... I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to do the alloy again, and now that I actually have the, the weapon fragments to do it. Hmm. I really want it. Yeah, I'm assuming when I come back to the EMP cannon, the progress that I've already made on it will can will still be there. I'm assuming. I'm gonna switch over. No way the aliens could have anticipated this outcome. We've crippled the entire support network. Of course, this isn't the end. We have no choice now but to take it further. We have to find their remaining ships and finish what they started. Improved arc thrower. Increases the successful stun rate. Could be nice, although I'd prefer it if they increased the stun range. Alien grenades. Okay, let's let's do alien grenades, because I might upgrade the grenades on my mechs. So just in case, let's do it. And once again, I'm out of weapon fragments. Crap. Hmm. Don't care about that. Still satellites could be nice. I'll make sure production begins immediately. And as soon as we've got something, I'll be in touch. Ooh, okay, I have enough meld to now upgrade Tyrone. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm finding the Electropulse is has not been useful so far. And I don't want to try this proximity mine launcher, so let's give this a shot. Alright. God, my mechs look amazing. They look so amazing. I've got 35 meld left. I could spend it on some gene mods. Who needs gene mods the most? 
I would like to give Arrow muscle fiber density, which I believe actually costs 35. Who else needs it? No one else really needs it in particular. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Arrow. Which I do through here. Take a look at what's here again. Alright, that's Psy Attack stuff. Uh, muscle fiber density. Oh no, it's only 25. Only 25 meld. Well, we're going to do that for sure. And I'm going to have 15... No, I'm going to have 10 left. Is there anything else I could get? Adrenal Neurosympathy. Nah. Height advantage. I mean, it's that's something you'd want everybody to have, but it's not particularly important. It's most important for a sniper. Because snipers are usually going to have a height advantage. But for my other troops, not so much. Actually, this would be good for a, a shotgun person. Actually, this would be good for anyone who can shoot twice. Especially good for people that can shoot twice in one turn. Such as my heavies and... And also arrow, because she has the, the double shot thing, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, rapid fire. So let's do that. She's going to be in there already. She's already in the, the gene lab, so let's just do that. Excellent. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you when the genetic modification process is completed. Excellent. And let's do the same for Finn. Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when the procedure is complete. Oh, it appears that every gene mod costs or takes three days. So she's actually Arrow's actually gonna be in there for longer now. That's okay. I did I guess I should give Mimetic skin to my other assault. I don't need to though. Like maybe that's something I should only do if that's probably something I should only do if I need to switch over to my other assault. Yeah. Alright, more money. What do I do with more money? Must, must spend money. Must spend money. Can't keep it. Uh, facilities. Can I build any? No, I can't do anything. Shit. Oh, no, I can build one. Do I need anything? No. I really don't. I really, really don't. Nothing I want there. I would like more ship. Oh, we can actually build more ships now that we got new stuff. Okay, how many can I build? Firestorm's gonna be done in 14 days. Not enough hangar bays at XCOM HQ. Alright, let's grab two more. That'll give us three. And how many do we need to fill out all the slots? It's gonna give us three. I think we need five or six. One are they, are they all coming to Africa? Actually, that makes sense because we are located in Africa. So why wouldn't what, yeah why wouldn't you construct them at your home base? Durr. One, two, three, four, five, five. So we're gonna need two more. I don't suppose I can transfer them before. No, I can't. All right, and then eventually, once I've researched it, I guess I'll give them EMP cannons. Oops. So yeah, I, I have a ton, a ton of things in the works. Gene mods and advanced servo motors, access lifts, alloy cannon, another gene mod, alien grenades, improved medikit, laboratory, firestorms. I have so much going on. And there's nothing to do but wait. But once again, I'm encroaching on the two hour mark. So I think I'm going to end this episode here. Alright, I hope everyone enjoyed watching me totally fail at... Well... I kind of failed. I, oops, I, I absolutely failed at equipping my soldiers correctly. I didn't give my my medic a medkit, which is so stupid, and I didn't use run and gun at a critical moment. However, even though I totally failed on those counts, I still won the mission without a single casualty or even a single wounded soldier. So, in the end, it is a success. So it wasn't too bad. All right. I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.